Hi guys, I just want to show you my new uh, power supply. It's like a bench power supply, but you can use it to power any skateboard uh, up to 60 volts. Uh, actually, I think it's up to 70 input, but 0 to 60 volts. So for 12S, um, any 12S, you can set it to 50.4. So I've got it 50.4. Now, the charger I use for my 12S batteries is this one. I got it's a 50.4 but it's only two amps now they don't really sell a lot of these portable ones that's higher than two amps there's like it's kind of hard to find and even this one you can see uh, the one models they sell is 3.5 or 6 with this you can have a custom current so I have it at uh, 50.4 at 4 amps so this is gonna charge twice faster uh, than right um, twice faster than the charger I have so that's why I gotta just connect it right and this will fit any battery now if you're charging uh, a 10s batteries most um, like uh, let's say like those are 10s like Meepo, Vestar uh, most retail ones are like 10s battery um, the the standard is is 10s that's 42 volts so you would set this at 42 volts and um, Depending on the battery pack, which battery cells are used, uh, it can be, you know, anywhere from 2 to 3 amps, right, per 18650. Now, I am using 21700 Tesla batteries, the Samsung 480T. The good thing with these is you can actually charge them a lot faster. You can put uh, more current safely without increasing uh, temperature. So, I've got it at 4 amps uh, for my 12S4P. I could probably do, like, 8 amps uh, fine because these cells are rated for 2 amps uh, for standard charge which means and so in, in the 4p setup that's 8 amps uh, but I would always just use a little bit less because if you charge your battery fast um, it's gonna degrade it faster so it's always actually better to charge it slowly so if I'm gonna go to sleep I'll probably set this to like 1 amp so it's charges super slow uh, but right now I want to go right again so I set up 4 amps um, you can see the wattage um, uh, being used to charge and the amps so it's uh, the exact voltage and you can see the actual voltage of the battery here so this is good because this gives you exact voltage output of uh, the um, your battery being charged uh, so you know exactly being charged but but like a charger like this you're not gonna know um, how fast it's charging or a charger like this you're not gonna know how fast it's charging so this is great to have if you are doing a lot of DIY boards or um, if you're using any of the newer Tesla batteries, because simply there simply isn't um, a lot of chargers you can buy. Uh, it's just better to get a power supply. That way you can really customize everything. Um, so custom battery charger, pretty much, if you have a power supply. Now you can just get a like a bench power supply too. But I really like this one. Uh, it's called the Raiden RD6006. I'll have a full review eventually. But um, yeah, I'm charging my battery, um, and uh, finally making use of the power supply more but really like this um, awesome power supply